going back. Now I'm going to buy into all that. Hey, hey, ain't going to hide. Going to let all the fears lie. Go for the picture. It's on my side. Got all of the loving going inside. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to the Odyssey of Truth. We are in number two in our Escape to Freedom series. As Kemble and I have been promising for many, many months now, we are finally going to have guests on. Maybe you guys are getting tired of hearing just Kemble and I chat. We figured we'd get a third point going. And I figure what better person to bring on for our Escape to Freedom than Quiet Bear, shaman, explorer of the ether, healer, studier, all kinds of interesting uh, modalities he's looked at. And Quiet Bear, welcome to the Odyssey of Truth as we discuss intent and escape to freedom. Thanks for having me on your show, you guys. I've been watching you for a while, uh, both of you together and independently. I've been watching you for, I didn't even know how long, Campbell. Uh, this is a, a real treat for me to finally get to chat oh, thank with you, you for a bit, you know, so. Um, and just being part of this whole group that's waking up and doing their best to uh, give truth to the to the people that are seeking it. So that, that's that's what this is really all about. Uh, I've really been liking the things that you've been talking about with Kelly uh, about the imagination, uh, Campbell. That's um, it's so key. I mean, it's it's so awesome to see people waking up to the fact that. Our imagination is the engine of our creation. So uh, along with intent, uh, intent is really our, uh, it's our blueprint, it's our driver to the imagination. And so uh, watching this get spread around is, to me, it's, I was just sitting back going, ah, this is so cool to to watch this. So, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would agree. You know, I've had my freedom for intent for years and years, you know, I'm going on 30 years consciously, maybe since I was born unconsciously, so to speak. And, you know, here we are discussing our escape to freedom. And I like the way you put it. Intent is a blueprint to your imagination. I mean, without intent, you have nothing, in my opinion. So how would you, let's say, describe intent uh, there? Myself, uh, intent is the, my will, the 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 focus of what it is that I know will bring the highest good into my life or the intent to take out things that are not for our, our, my highest good. Uh, I learned a long time ago that uh, we have to take care of ourselves. The, uh, the psychological operations that are played against humanity, wh when they take, the, what they'll do is they'll take the right thing and they'll bastardize that so that it goes against um what we know people is the right way of thinking. And so uh, it isn't really the right way of thinking. It's what they do is, is they, they took uh, service to self and service to others. And they twisted that around mm. to where people would give away all of their power. They didn't tell them how to do it in a measured way to where they're retaining their power and still helping others. Or, I mean, it is a valid choice to make, and because we are in a free will universe, it's a valid choice to go after service to self. But when you choose service to self, you have to be 110% service to self. And that's what a lot of the demons and the, the archons, the, the ones that can't create, they have to get us to use our intent through manipulation. Um, to bring the, the, the out of balance they want that creates their louche. And so what people have thought because of the new age movement and the way it got um, twisted around is that they had to give all of their energy out to other selves. And that's the only way they could be in service to others. When in reality, when you take care of yourself first, just like uh, this analogy has been coming up a lot, when an airplane is going to crash and the oxygen drops down, they tell you to put your own on first before trying to help others. It's the same way with this. You have to take care of yourself um, and build yourself up and have your strength, knowing that you're going to be in service to others, that, that strengthens you. Okay. So um, where the other way, it empties you and causes mm. you to be weak and sick and having problems in your life and not being able to protect yourself. 
Um, that's in the teachings that I'm get, giving now, where I'm helping people. What I'm doing is I'm giving them the protected space in order for them to gain their uh, their energy back that has been being sucked off of them for so long. Most people, their whole lives, they've been being emptied and they don't know. And so once they get the that protected area, then what I encourage them to do, it won't work any other way, is for their intent to take over for their own healing. And um, it's also tied into the, the aspect of the present, um, acting with your intent in the present. You can say, I intend that I'm going to do something in the future, and that's an empty intent mm. that, that, that doesn't have any strength behind it. The intent works greatest and strongest when we operate in the I am, I have, it is, we are. Okay. And speaking in those, uh, I was discussing this with Marcella. Is it a prefix or is it an introduction to your intent? You know, um, because unless you're living in the present, focusing on the present and creating in the present, then it's all ego dreaming, okay? It's it's just the ego going, oh, maybe we can do this, maybe we can do that, throwing out one thing after another to where it, the, the universe can't bring you anything, so it brings you chaos because that's what you're, that's what you're showing. Um, the intent is the initial reflection that we give to the universe of what it is that we think is for our highest good. In a roundabout way, there's my nutshell. So. No, that's a good nutshell. You know, it makes total it makes total sense that if you're going to uh, escape to freedom, you know, as the topic of, of this journey is, and you're going to intend your way there, uh, the only time you can make a change in your life is in the now, right? Uh, yes. Obviously, or, or else you're you're dreaming of a better future, or uh, you're you're hurting yourself for a harmful past, or, <laughs> or, you know, and then you're wounding yourself, as you see, you're taking away, you're draining your energy, you're giving it away to the, the monsters that be. Instead of using it for your own, you know, Campbell and I talked about that. If you're on a journey and you're in a boat, you know, if you're filling your boat full of holes, you're going to sink, right? You know, Absolutely. so if, 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 so that, as you say, you have to make sure your boat itself is seaworthy to, uh, to move. And that would be, as you said, the intent of not giving away your power, but making sure you're structurally sound so that you can move forward. And that's where the magic really happens. Um, it, it, the now, I mean, we've been sitting here talking for minutes but we're still in the now. And this is the thing that I want people to, I'm hoping people will grasp. Um, I, here I am hoping. Uh, I, I intend that people grasp this, but it, it's such an individual thing. Um, that's why I like the, the title that you gave this thing, this series of the escape to freedom, because right now people don't realize that they're in a prison of their own making based on, the information that's been given to them all their lives. Um, they People don't want to have, that's what we started to talk about. People don't want to admit when they've made a, a mistake. And that's where the controllers have us. The controllers, I see them as the, the ultimate con men. They've fooled the entire plane, plane of existence into thinking that they're weak, ineffectual and beings that can't do anything. When in reality, what we've talked about a lot is that they've never not been creating. They've just been creating things that they think are for their highest good, but we're, we're in actuality are taking them down pathways that just lead to nowhere, but, but confusion and chaos. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think action's a big point of intent as well, isn't it? A lot of people love to, to say, I'm going to do this, love to, you know, virtue signal, we see a lot of that, and, you know, I'm this, I'm that, I'm blah, 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 but but nothing ever happens, yes. right? Well, what does happen is they go out and they argue with other people and they create food for the demons. So it's, yep. it's just like... Mm. It's so easy to create the louche. Um, people are just now waking up to the fact how easy we create it. I mean, I know there's times, it, it, and I this is my whole entire life, there's times I know that I'm creating louche. With, with being upset about something or, and then, and that's what helps uh, rein that back in to where I, I will forcefully stop that on my own so that I'm not feeding them. But most people be, and, and I don't want to say that they're weak. It's just that they've been taught 
to be weak. They've been taught to wait for the savior. Um, you know, big daddy government's going to come in and save you. Um, I, I've known people that sat sat with a flat tire waiting for it to fill up with air. Literally, they they didn't know how to change a tire. And they would just sit in their car. And finally, someone would stop and say, what's the problem? They've got a flat tire. And I, okay, well, do you need help fixing it? Well, how do you? I don't know what to do. And that's it's it's that way in life. But most people are driving around on four flat tires, you know. Um, and so yeah. it, that, that's the thing um, about this whole pathway is it takes so much effort to break free of the conditioning. And it, it takes an, an sometimes second by second watching your words. I mean, I, I do this all the time, man. I catch myself when it's saying things like, I hope, you know, it's such an easy mm. thing to say. We've said it for so long mm. because we were taught that it was the right thing to say when in actuality, all we're doing is putting it onto a balloon and letting it float away where there's, there's nothing to, uh, harness that energy mm. and that's that's the, the the teachings that i want to share with people they've got hello everyone freedom shift whether you want to meet people whether you want to develop content whether you want to do a business whether you want to do all three i know from experience and what we have going on campbell and i and the other people joining our hub can help you out and we just want to grow it and we want to grow it with good people who have good intentions and and make it a hub where we can all learn off each other. We can share ideas and, and cross promote each other and basically all help each other, you know, build a future that's not reliant on the system, right? The system that, that put us in this situation in the first place. People have asked us why we've started Freedom Shift. I've been asked many times and some people have maybe misinterpreted why we're doing what we're doing with our freedom shifts. So Campbell and I are making this video to be very clear. Our intent, straightforward, good people doing good things for good reasons. I mean, this is a crux of it all is we all know, guys, we need to build a new world. So that's really, you know, what, what we're trying to do here is put our energy into helping that happen. So, yeah, if you've got an idea, um, something you want to do, even if, if you're not completely sure of what you want to do, but you want to do something, if you're an action person and you want to get out there and start doing, and, and um, we'll see what the possibilities are. And, and we've definitely got something um, that we can offer you. Yeah, there's no obligation to chat. We don't mind if you say yes. We don't mind if you say no. We're simply happy to share what we can do together, what we feel will work. And this is our system. I'm going to be very clear. This is a system Campbell and I are setting up. There's a few other people working with us. We want to be successful. We want to make a nice community. We want to love you. We want to be loved. Campbell and I have been figuring our way through this. We're happy to share what we figured out. We're happy for your input and your experience and your intelligence as well. We figure together we'll be stronger than apart. It's the old Zen saying, maybe it's a parable. Maybe it's Kung Fu. I'm not sure. One arrow, easy to break. A whole bunch of arrows, harder to break. That's how the monsters take over the world. They act together. Armies, police, politicians, all in cahoots you know, moving in one direction. So as we can do that as well, but in the, with better people for better reasons, we will also be unstoppable, unbreakable, and our destiny could be unavoidable, but it's not going to happen without some effort. So, you know, come on, join us. We're happy to have you. And got nothing to lose except your slavery, in my opinion. Indeed, and everything to gain. So have an amazing day, guys. Thanks for uh, joining us. And you'll find all the links below. Uh, click on them and uh, let's chat. All right, cheers, guys. Bye for now. See you soon.